Managing the size of your comps bounding box is one of the lowest effort things you can do to find massive performance gains in Nuke. There are a few things we can do to stop processing extra unseen pixels and speed up your comp. An often unknown feature in Nuke is the bounding box warning option. You can enable this in Nuke's preferences by using the Shift S shortcut. In the Node Graph tab, there is a bounding box warning section. And once you check enable, every node with a large bounding box will be highlighted with this border. This feature is great to find problem nodes and add crops after them. However, it will slow down the performance of your Nuke script if you leave it on. So ensure you turn it off after you finish finding and fixing all of your large bounding boxes. Also, be careful of cropping everything to the format size, as you can easily eliminate overscan, which is needed for downstream lens distortion nodes. I whipped up a crop overscan node to help you crop bounding boxes while preserving overscan. However, I would encourage you to experiment with using the copy bounding box node too. Sometimes, copying the bounding box directly from an upstream read node is a simple way to keep it as tight as possible. By default, most nodes set the bounding box to union, although oftentimes we can set better defaults that will automatically stop our bounding boxes ballooning in size. For example, when we create a merge node using the over operation, we can almost always safely keep the B box from the B pipe. If we switch the operation to mask, however, we should use the B box from the A pipe. To speed up my workflow, I've set a couple of keyboard shortcuts in my menu.py, which create merge nodes with different operations and appropriate B-Box settings. Here are just a couple of examples that I would recommend. So for example, we're looking for the Nuke menu called Nodes, which is this one on the side here. And then we're adding a new menu called Merge and then a Merges subdirectory. And since this already exists in Nuke, it's just gonna add more to it. Then we're gonna add a command, which means we're gonna create a new menu item and we're gonna call it Mask. And what happens when we press this menu item is we're going to create a new merge node. We're going to set the operation to mask and we're going to set the bounding box to A. I've also mapped it to an alt I shortcut because I use it all the time. Similarly, I've done the opposite here for the stencil command and I've set the bounding box to a value of B. We can extend this thinking to other nodes as well. For example, it would make sense to have a copy node always get the bounding box from the A pipe. While it's good practice to manage your bounding box size as you comp, not every compositor does it. If you've picked up somebody else's nuke script and it's running slowly, it can be a massive pain to manually find and fix every large bounding box. In this case, we could automate it. To serve as inspiration, I've put together a rough Python script that will automatically find and crop with a certain amount of overscan any oversized bounding box in every merge node's A pipe. To show you how this works, I've got it saved in a Python menu and I've got a few different options here. I'm going to use precise and slow and I'll tell you why in a second. See, we have an option for overscan. I think 10% is always a safe amount and we'll hit okay. Now it's going to look at the first frame. It's going to cycle through every merge node, check the bounding box size, and then it's going to crop the element. So looking at this animated color wheel here, it's definitely going outside of bounds. And then when we look at our auto crop, you can see it's respecting the original bounding box and it's also adding that 10% of overscan. If we were to use the optimized B box fast option, it would be a lot faster to process, but it would just add the crop overscan. If you'd like to download this code to experiment with and expand upon, or if you'd like to download this little nuke script as an example, you can find it in the video's description below.